Well, this is it. We are finally at the season finale. We're going to talk all about it, all about my thoughts. This was a major, major episode and was one of the best finales of the season. I'll catch you guys back in just a second. What is going on everyone, this is Ninja Geek here, and we are finally at the season finale as I said in the intro, so let's get right into this because this is, it might be a longer episode than what my usual reviews are, but of course it was a longer episode indeed, and lots of stuff to cover, lots of stuff that happened, and first off I want to say that my predictions from last week's episode were nothing like, or not really predictions, but stuff that I really wanted to happen are nothing like I think now, Uh, you know, obviously things change and a lot has changed in this one episode. So, you know, I really, I, in last episode, I'll go over that. I wanted Deanna and Michonne to die. Michonne for knocking Rick out and Deanna just because she doesn't understand how this world works now. And I, fi- and I felt that they needed to be eliminated, but in this episode, you're going to find out later on as I get through it how my ideas kind of change. So first off, in the beginning of the episode, right away, it just takes us straight into the action. We see Morgan return, and we see him learn some new skills as well. Uh, you know, he's like carrying around this new stick. He like learned how to, it's basically like he learned what Michonne was doing except with a stick. I don't know exactly how he learned to do, I mean, obviously I know in real life he learned to do that, but I'm saying like for, you know, the show's purposes, like how he actually actually was able to teach himself this is very important as well and we also see along with Morgan coming back the wolves finally come into play here we obviously have seen them throughout the second half of season five a lot ever since we got to Alexandria but the wolves are actually making an appearance now and they're going to be the major enemy I'm guessing right now within season six because that's really all that they have to worry about now that they came in and they I could see why they wouldn't put them in like the season premiere like they're going to Alexandria or anything like that after watching this episode because you know the wolves are just coming in they don't want to end the wolves or end or start something you know new now with season six going in we have something to kind of look forward to or as an enemy sort of within this area you know the wolves are definitely an enemy and they could be considered one and with everything that's going to happen later on in this episode which obviously i keep saying i'm going to talk about it and, you know, with everything that like that, it's just inevitable that it's going to happen within Season 6 that the Wolves are going to be a major enemy. So look forward to that when we get on to Season 6. Uh, like I said before in this video, I'm sorry what I thought of Michonne for uh, hitting Rick. I didn't... I, I think that in... I looked at it in both ways, but then I decided that, I don't know. I mean, I really don't want Michonne to specifically die. I don't think she's a bad person. She did it just because to stop Rick from becoming you know, if he just continued on, something bad would have definitely happened, so I kind of thank Michonne, you know, it wasn't like, out. she was still on his side, basically, that's what my point was there, Deanna, obviously, of course, wants to have this meeting about Rick Grimes and his actions of what he has done, you know, pointed a weapon in this place, and Rick is planning on a plan B if things don't go go too well, which meaning that he's going to kill them. I mean, at this point in the episode, I think that Rick kind of sees how it's going to go, that he might end up getting kicked out if things continue to go on this way, and he doesn't want to obviously get kicked out, you know what I mean? He's with this group of people, he doesn't want to just leave everyone there, and everyone can't leave because first off, they have their weapons in the armory, and they, you know, obviously they're not going to let them, you know, just take off on their own, because they, Deanna even said that they need people there to help out and to make this a community, and, you know, so they were, they, I don't know if they were planning on kicking him completely out, but they were definitely going to do something consequential, consequential to him, and so Rick just kind of comes up with this plan B just in case things don't end up as well as, as you know, they, they should, because they just want to have a calm meeting, but Rick doesn't want to startle anything, he just wants to, you know, okay, this is what's going to happen, and, you know, that's, that's it. Now, uh, another thing, uh, Glenn and Nicholas, like, first off, like I've said in my last episodes, and I don't change this opinion, Nicholas, I hope dies, I hope died last night, but he didn't end up dying, because Glenn didn't kill him, so basically, uh, no, Nicholas escaped through, in, out into the woods, and then Glenn tried to follow him, they got, there was a bunch of, like, walker scenes, we all thought that Glenn was almost gonna die at one point, then it cuts away, then it cuts back, 
And, you know, then we kind of see Glenn, you know, he's just ready to take out Nicholas and they're just, he's just sitting on top of him for the longest time. Doesn't end up taking him out and going back to Alexandria with him and Glenn, you know, I thought that it was like, Glenn should have, I mean, I don't know if it was right for his character, but I really wanted Nicholas to die for the actions that he had in the past. Another person who I hope dies is indeed Father Gabriel. He is the literal cause. If I had to pick one person above everyone, well, first it would be Pete, which obviously he died already, but um, the next one would be Father Gabriel, then Nicholas, because at least Father Gabriel, or at least Nicholas uh, kind of, sort of cares for his people in a way. Father Gabriel just doesn't care about anyone at all. You could even tell it. He just, uh, he, you know, he was ready to get attacked, and he left the gate open. Like, I mean, it, maybe he thought he closed it, but his mind is just insane right now. I don't know what his thoughts are, and you could obviously tell that he's insane, because obviously, we'll talk about this later on in the episode as well, right, right at the end, but, uh, uh, you know, Father Gabriel is just a person that I thought I could trust, and my thoughts haven't changed on him, so I really hope that he dies, because all he is, he's just li- he's a liar, and he just gets everyone killed. Next, also, we see Daryl and Aaron for a majority of the episode as well, trying to, you know, pick up these survivors, and along the way, they end up running into a the wolves' trap, which they obviously don't know at the time, but there's, like, this trap full of, like, trucks, and they think that they're gonna get, like, supplies, like, food and stuff but they end up opening it up as you know because people that are obviously going by there might want to stop in and you know ignite the trap and or not the trap but you know open the door see what's inside but of course it happened to be a trap that the wolves set so they were stuck in a car and then Morgan comes to save them that was actually one of my predictions where Morgan will actually Daryl finds Daryl and Aaron find Morgan but uh, either way they still ended up being together and you know then Aaron explained the whole Alexandria situation like we have this camp we have these walls and you know Daryl obviously you know went along with him because that's because he's the recruiter now and Morgan you know hesitated and then he was and then apparently they went on their way to Alexandria so Morgan and ever and uh, Aaron and Daryl are on their way to Alexandria in one of the next scenes we see Carol threaten Pete with a knife in his own new house now because Pete got moved after what happened with Rick and Pete Pete obviously got moved to a new house for obvious reasons and and so, why doesn't Pete attack Kara? Well, one thing is that she has a good argument that Pete would be to blame if anything did happen. You know, if, if like, anything happened between them where Pete, you know, got in the middle of her, her and tried to, like, beat her or anything like that, they would obviously know that it was Pete to blame because Carol would not just randomly start something. Uh, even though she might have the, in that potential situation, they the town wouldn't obviously believe that. So, that's number one. And number two, too, because she obviously knows about Sam and Jesse's past just in making in baking Sam cookies all the time. Uh, she knows what kind of man he is, what kind of family he is. So I think that at that point with all those things thrown in together and in that heat of the moment, maybe he wants to save his anger for later, like we're going to talk about at the end of this episode. So uh, I don't know what was going on there. Another thing that we did see was Abraham and Eugene. Uh, they finally apologized to each other because as you know, in the it was like kind of like in the beginning beginning parts of season five they got into a huge fight because Eugene lied about Washington and what was there and Abraham just wanted nothing to do with Eugene he actually just wanted to kill him and now they're kind of like making up so I think that it was a nice thing to add into the season finale just so that you know we know that they're together now you know not like obviously like together together you know what I mean like that they're you know they're good they're all good now so I like that they added that in Sasha, what is up with Sasha? Ever since those last couple of episodes, uh, even into, you know, after, basically after Tyrese died, she's just been crazy and she's been getting crazier and crazier. I mean, I do want Father Gabriel dead, but if Sasha killed Father Gabriel in that scene at the end, that probably would have set things way back. I mean, I don't know how it would have went, even though, you know, Pete obviously dies in the end by Rick. I don't know how it would have kind of, like, went with Deanna and, and Sasha trying to, and you know, trying to defend herself killing Pete, or, I mean, trying to defend herself killing Gabriel, and, and then Rick killing Pete on that side. Um, I don't know how she would be able to cope with that and try and deal with all these problems at once so I think that would have created an even more problem so I'm glad that that didn't happen to be honest but I still want Father Gabriel dead uh, even though I just don't want him to die by that way one of the group members you know um 
basically this is the ending this is where it gets interesting right at the end right at the last even i think it was like the last five minutes of the episode rick is ready to go to the meeting ready to prepare for plan b like he's been talking about like we talked about before and he quickly looks outside and sees and 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 sees like the gate open so you know he obviously runs to go try and check it out and well it's open obviously he has no clue how but there's walkers inside he could tell because there's trail there's like a trail of walkers or blood or blood of some sort so something is inside and obviously it's obvious that it's walkers because they're it's on the gate so he quickly shuts the gate and he goes looking for these things because if he if he just went to the meeting it was and just told everyone not to panic and that there was walkers he got to go try and do this himself you know even though it could be a potential risk in killing him he has to try and, and see where these walkers are before it gets anyone else you know basically so that's what he did he goes to take all of them out and he and he takes out one he brings it back to the group and he throws it on the ground you know during right during the meeting when everyone's trying to tell that Rick is a good person and tell what they need to do to continue on Rick just walks in with it throws it on the ground and gives an excellent speech that you know he basically says how many of you do I have to kill for you to realize that but I'm not going to he he wants people to change and he is making them change right now he's not sorry for what he told Deanna and everyone he's sorry that he didn't say it sooner he wants change in everyone and it's only for the better of everyone else and as soon as he said that Pete walks in with I think it's it was Michonne's katana but I think I could be wrong on that but it looked like it was a katana sword and I don't know where else he would get that so he obviously stole it from her and at the end of the episode we even see her put it back so that's what I'm thinking that's what I'm saying and he basically walks in he's like he's not one of us and he tries to attack Rick you know just basically he wants him dead and Reg goes over to him and he's like you know Pete kind of like settle down settle down and instantly within an instant just slits Reg's throat Deanna is like on top of him in a minute he's trying she's trying to help him all they could he's just like choking because Pete just like friggin like slit to his throat it was just it was in the last three minutes and it was just completely unexpected and you know and Abraham just immediately knocked him hold him held him down right on the ground because that was just completely uncalled for and obviously Reg died from that because you're obviously going to die he got slipped right through the throat he choked and obviously he ended up dying and so Deanna was like he she looked up like sad Rick do it and he just friggin pulled the trigger and killed Pete now then at the end of that episode we got to hear Morgan's voice. He finally made it to Alexandria with Daryl and Aaron, and he was like, Rick? And then Rick looks up and sees him. It's the first time that Morgan and Rick have had interaction, have seen actually each other since season three, when Rick obviously went back to his old town to see, you know, I, mean, I don't know if he, I think he was like looking for obviously some different supplies and stuff like that that he could find there, and happened to run across him, but now we get to see him see Morgan again for the first time in season five, and he, uh, hoping willingly that he'll play a more of a role in season six as season six does continue on. I hope that Morgan just becomes part of them, helps them out. You know, I'm interested to see how the Morgan Rick relationship is going to go from there. So that's basically it for the end of this episode. This is the end of The Walking Dead until we get to October again. There is going to be a spinoff Fear the Walking Dead series airing during the summertime which is basically like how the apocalypse first started out and it's I, i'm interested to see that as well it's going to be airing sometime in the summertime i don't know the exact date offhand but leave your comments below what you think of this week's episode of the walking dead in season five in general now that it has come to a close and i will see you all when season six starts starting back up with these reviews again maybe i'll try and do something else to make them a little bit more interesting i can't really show any footage that you know i try to but you know i can't because it's obviously copyrighted by amc so i'm not going to get in trouble by them but that's it if you did enjoy leave a like and subscribe for more content i'm ninja geek i'm out peace